Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. So in the video today, I want to take a look at um, an example of anomaly detection um, and also show the importance of cost management reviews. So I'm going to be looking um, in Tibble 360 and <clears throat> we're looking at the cost analyzer module here. So four different modules in the product. Cost analyzer is aimed at helping you manage your day-to-day -day costs on Azure and optimize and save money. So the scenario that I had was that um, I've got a, a data gateway service. This is a VM in Azure that's used by my integration platform. So in this case, I'm in my demo environment. Um, I've only got a limited budget for demos, so I'm quite conscious about not wanting to spend a lot of money on, on um, demos that we show people how the product works. So here I've got um, on the tree view, I've got an example of an integration team here. And I've got a node where I'm managing the data gateways. So what I do with these VMs on Azure, as you can see down here, I've got a schedule. And the idea is the schedule shows how I can turn a VM on or resize a VM and, and do various workload optimizations with different resource types. But the idea is um, I want to turn it on once a day for an hour and then turn it off for the rest of the time simulating a VM that's not used all of the time. Now, what happened is um, in the product, it's really easy to add resources. So you would just be using this tab here and you can see here's my, um, my VM and it's scheduled in this case, it's scheduled to start up and deallocate when it's not being used. Now, I think what happened was um, during a demo at some point, somebody on the team doing a demo must have um, taken the vm out of the schedule just to show how how it works or something like that and i think when the demo's finished they've got to put the, the vm back into the um, schedule so what that means is that vm it got turned on and just got left turned on and, and it wasn't getting shut down by the schedule because it was no longer the vm wasn't part of that schedule anymore so um, what happened here, that, so that, you know, that kind of thing can happen in the real world. So whether it be the case that we've done it in a demo or your, you know, your environment's changing all the time, people are deploying new things, people are changing stuff. And, and the, the idea is that um, sometimes you'll just have changes in your cost. So what happened um, here, I'm managing my team and you can see this is the anomaly detection feature down here. So you can see... This is where my costs started going up because that VM wasn't getting turned off. And um, here's a few days where the alerts were going out because the behavior was different than usual. And then eventually that becomes considered the default behavior. And then it's no longer an anomaly because that's what the cost now looks like. Now, what happened here was Turbo 360 sending out notifications. And I think the team hadn't actually responded to them. So this is where... When the cost review happens, um, I'm kind of looking at the environment and I'm looking to see what things have changed. And here I'm over in the integration team. So I'm doing the kind of um, end of month review here and I'm looking at the integration team. I'm in the analysis area and I've got a, a table set up for a simple cost review. So the bit that I'm noticing here is um, my virtual machine cost have gone up. So last month, you can see it was five rupees this month it's 173 so straight away i know there's an issue there the team have missed a trick because they've took it out the schedule um they've then ignored the alerts um and then i do the cost review now i've caught that we've got this increase in cost so we've jumped on this really quickly now i think as an organization um you really need to think about your process at this point so when you get a cost spike how long does it take for you to respond and notice that issue and then do something about it so in this case the tool was sending the alerts pretty much the next day from when things went out of sync now now it's a process problem now what we can do in turbo 360 that we would probably recommend in a customer scenario but with there being a demo environment we didn't was we have an escalation policy on the alerts so here i'm just sending out a teams alert to a teams channel but you can put an escalation policy where if nobody responds to that alert, um, after, say, half a day, you can create a service now ticket and that would fall into your ticketing system. You'd now match your SLAs and that would mean you properly resolve the issue. So I think this is the importance of when 
tooling plus process plus people the importance of keeping those things all kind of going in the same direction our catch-all here in my case was that we do a cost review to make sure our spend in the demo environment's looking healthy and i spot that vm doesn't look right i can dig into it and i can see which vm it is and then i can go i know that one should be on a schedule so i check the schedule and know that somebody's removed it at some point in the, in the user history it'll I'll be to go and track down and see when it got removed, but I'm pretty sure it would have just been one of the demos we did where we were shown how to add and remove it. Um, so hopefully um, with these videos, I like to give people just insights into the things we discover in the real world, uh, which are challenges people have managing cost, and then we share those experiences to help give people insights to help them do better and get more value from the cost that they spend on Azure in their implementations. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for listening. Take care.